Does it still hurt when I mean, you when you watch you, that? If you actually ran it on a bit more, you'd see me sprinting the length of the pitch to get a hold of the referee. But uh, what, probably, what just, probably the fastest I've ever moved in my life. Like, but what you say to him? I was just in shock. I was actually I was actually locked to the referee just to take a take a free kick because it was that blatant. You know, as, as Jim Beglin says in the commentary, it, it wasn't one handball. He, he sort of had it with his forearm, and then he pulled it back in with, with his left. And it was a double handball, and it was it was so blatant. I was like, I'm taking a free kick, and I looked up, and the rest pointed to the halfway line. Oh my God, you're joking! I looked at the linesman. He's running to the halfway line, and I'm like, I'm no way. This is not happening. And then I was, I was just, I was just going handball, handball. You, you, you're joking. You have to have seen this, and it was just madness because we thought then there was a big kerfuffle after they might get a replay and all this kind of stuff. But I suppose everyone knows in sport, the referee's decision is final, and it was a tough pill to swallow because you know we've lost out in such another major yeah. big World Cup. What was the atmosphere in the dressing room like after? It was that? very tough. Like a lot, like lads were shouting, get up in the video, get on the screen. So you know the modern day change rooms, they have the. The screens and stuff, and you can project it on. And oh, so you were able to watch it immediately yeah, after yeah, the game. Yeah, immediately after Brian McCarthy was the video analyst, and he he put it straight on the screen, like, and the lads were like just chucking boots at the screen and all sorts, like, and, <laughs> and it was just not a happy place. And you can imagine there's a few swear words, and we felt Trapattoni was not all this kind of stuff, yeah. and <laughs> I can't say what he was saying, and he was saying swear words in Italian, I think, and it was just tough. I mean, everyone was just so despondent. I mean, that game as well. We played we played fantastic that night, and. I think me and Robbie Keane was mentioned in the book. We were in the huddle before the hand, and we were just, we were just saying, lads. I know the traps give us instructions and corners and set plays and all this. How do you set up? Like, but tonight the shackles are coming off, lads. We're going for this because we felt we were just, we didn't do well enough in Dublin. We didn't play like we know we could do. And probably one of the best performances in the Irish as a team was that night in and Paris. An amazing performance. Yeah, amazing. And so then we sad. just felt robbed at the end. So. And then.